Now, some people tend to find that drawing ladders is a rather daunting task, but it really doesn't have to be. Uh, once again, I've come up with a couple of little shortcuts here, and I'm not saying it is the only way to do it, but it seems to work for me, so I'll share them with you. If you take a look at the, the area where I have that I want to add this ladder, I have a regular AutoCAD line drawn, and all I did to achieve that was I just invoked my line command on screen. And I placed the point where I wanted. I went ahead and uh, actually switched to a, a view where I could see this line a little bit better. But you might also want to just uh, switch this. Uh, let me go ahead and try switch this to a view that we can see a little bit better. I'll go ahead to the 2D wireframe view and then go ahead and invoke our line again. And I'm going to start at the midpoint of this uh, beam that we have. And then I'm going to go ahead and make sure I have the right angle going down, put the height of the ladder that I wish. And then this part is kind of important because this is going to kind of tell the direction and the distance the ladder is going to come out. So I'll go ahead and I'll put 10 inches there. So that's basically just to show you how I created this line right here, which is actually in the place where I want the ladder. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that line that I just drew for you for strictly how to get that line in there purposes. And I'm going to select the line that I constructed to use as my guide, and I'm going to isolate it. So now... I'm not looking at anything else but this line. I'm going to go ahead on to the ladder tool. And for right now, I'm just going to accept all defaults and start drawing the ladder. So from the bottom, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pick this endpoint here. And I'm going to end, pick the endpoint at the top of the line. So now I'm asked to specify the directional distance point. So this is going to be looking for two bits of information, the distance as well as the direction. So you see I do have a vector uh, angle of zero degrees right now. And as soon as I click that, you can see that a ladder has been constructed. And if I go and end my object isolation, you'll see that everything's back in place and the ladder is exactly where we want it. So not everybody wants a ladder that looks exactly like this, so perhaps you want to make some changes to it. Also, remember, you can always change these settings before you even draw the ladder. You can go to your settings tab here, or the drop down, I should say, and go all the way down to ladder settings. And you'll see that if you look at the illustration here, you can set your exit width as well as the width of the ladder. And then uh, the projection from the, for the top of the ladder the distance of the rungs, so on and so forth. Don't forget to give your ladder a unique description here. And you can also edit the cage. Maybe you don't want the cage at all, so just uncheck this right here. If you are using a cage, give it a unique name as well. You can change the angle of the cage. Just check out the illustration here, and it'll give you the uh, reference to the blank of the information that you're changing. Now, perhaps you've already drawn the ladder, and someone says, well, you know, it's not exactly how we wanted it. We'll just go over here to your existing ladder and then right click on it and check edit structure. If they say no cage, go ahead and take the cage off. Um, other changes you could make. Let's go ahead and just edit this one more time. Let's take a look at this cage. Let's put the cage back on. And, uh, you know, let's go ahead and uh, change the, uh, the angle or you can change... Uh, the start height of the cage. Make a change at, uh, start the uh, cage at seven feet rather than starting it at the seven and a half foot mark. Also, one thing that is probably going to affect people more than maybe how the cage is built, but it's actually the shape of the ladder. Maybe you don't have one that's built out of pipe as in the uh, default right here. Let's go ahead and uh, put in some uh, rectangular pipe right here. We'll select that, and maybe we can use rectangular pipe for the rung as well. So as you can see, there's a lot of options that you can use here, and you're not really limited. And, uh, you know, even if uh, 
this is coming out the wrong color even, go to your properties and override the color. There's a lot of options that can be changed in the properties as well. So that's just a few ideas of how you can customize and get the ladder that you want.